another workout for you guys to try at home. It's yet again, another AMRAP, but luckily there is no time limit on this one. All body weight exercises, so you're going to need it if you're outdoors. Grab yourself a mat, some space. If you're indoors, just make sure you've got plenty of space for this one. So let's run through what we're going to do, and then we'll run through a couple of full circuits to give you guys an idea of how it should look all together. Okay? So, first off, bear crawl. A lot of people get this wrong. What you need to do is all about the positioning. So, down on your knees, hands down, nice sturdy grip, shoulder width apart. All we're going to do is lift those knees and then move. Turn it hand to turn it foot. So, imagine your hand tied to your opposite knee. Okay? So, left hand moves, right knee goes with it. A lot of people do this when they move same side, no, it's opposites, it's coordination. A lot of people struggle with this, that's the why. So it's hands, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back from there, you can come up, jump up twice. Back down, there's your first set, second set. Bear core every time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. From there, you're gonna go two press ups, jump those feet back. One, two press ups. Okay, that's your second set. Third set, that's where you get some interesting. Back to the bear crawl again. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. From there, and step your feet out. And do jumping. One, two, yeah, yeah just third set. Three. Nice and simple. All superset with the bear crawl. Three different exercises to keep you going. And you want to link all them together. No rest. Bust out. So one round ends once you finish those two jump ins. That's the end of your round. So it's all three exercises plus the bear crawls. So pen and paper to your side, clock. Where you go, and let's see it all in one motion, shall we? Okay. Let's go. Are you ready? So if I turn that that way, you can see the jump in. Let's try it that way, shall we? That an angle. That's it. So, ready? Let's go. One, two, four, one, two, four, jump, jump, one, four, one, four, and then press up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, Simple, keep it going as many rounds as you can. If you need to break during the middle, take a break. Today's core workout for this week is another round based circuit. Again, it's all with the supersets, which is a nice little burner. So, the uh, timings for this it's uh, for beginners uh, two rounds, 30 on, 30 off. Uh, for the more advanced, um, that do core it's four rounds 45 seconds on 15 second rest okay as always take your time make sure you get the technique right with all this and practice it and then see how you get on Obviously, if you need to pause during the exercise take a quick breather and get straight back into it when you can okay so as usual with these superset workouts eight exercises four groups of two Put together and double it up so let's go through the uh, exercise and show you what we've got today shall we so first one is one you've seen before it's the full body crunch 
and flutter kicks. So probably crunch on them there. Crunch it in, come out, kick down. One, two, full body kick. One, two, either leg. Keep those feet off the floor as best you can, okay? And from there, you're gonna go straight into a glute bridge and a crunch. A little bit different than this time. Normally it's glute bridge and heel touches. And switch it up and put crunch in there just to make it really hard. So, glute bridge, once it's there, hands by the side, remember, just coming up onto the shoulders, come back down as soon as you come down, shoulders roll and crunch up, up, forward, up the hips, back down, up. Now on this one, take the time, just come up, come down, push that core down, and then go. Don't try and rush, come down straight into it because you won't feel it. It's down, shoulders, that a slight pause to set yourself before hitting that crunch, okay? From there, yeah, this is a real big one. Now, plank press up, and then onto that, you're gonna add either a kick through or a Spider Man. Yeah, let me explain. So, break it down into each uh, exercise. So, your plank press up. Obviously, everyone knows that one by now. And down in that plank position. From there, so. That plank position, and then we're going to go up to the press up, and back down. That's your plank to press up, okay? And there's the basics. You kick so yeah, let me show you from side on because it's loads to see from this side on. So you kick through ears normally at uh, half stance from there, or a little bit back. Uh, you'll see this on the on the bear call workout. We do kick through, so it's there, kick kick okay and obviously the spider-man is normally from that high position bring that knee to the outside of the elbow so it's there and there okay so you do either or you're not trying to do both that's all four of you but silly so put them together you choose which one you want to do and what one you find easier I'd say to start with the Spider-Man is probably going to be the easier option. Uh, if you want to try it, the kick through is an option. So, plank to press up with the Spider-Man. Okay, so, plank, press up, bring those knees up, and go back down. So it's up, knee, knee, back down. Okay, there's your plank press up with your Spider-Man. Now, if you did it with the kick through, a little bit different so for that plank from there kick up up kick through kick kick okay and then back down so it's up kick kick back down okay nice and simple so the kick through can make harder obviously if you tire Better if you come in, say, in a bear crawl, you can do bear crawl and kick crews. That really hits your core. But we might see that on a, a later video. Set number four is your V-sits and twists. So the twists we've put in with a crunch before and your V-sit, most similar. We've done this as well before. So it's your V-sit, similar to the Russian twist position. It's there, and a mat, don't try to slouch, try and keep up, take some pressure off your back, try and sit up, bring that chest up. So it's there, and you tuck yourself in, push your feet if you need to, so it's tuck, and twist. Okay, so it's a Russian, really, it's a Russian twist with a, with a tuck, a modified Russian twist, if you want to break it down there. So your Russian twist is normally there, and all we're doing is that V-sit, modify V-sit without twist. Remember on the twist, try and twist around as much as you can. The more you can twist, the more you can hit that bleak, and the more you'll feel it in that hip. So tuck, boom, boom, tuck, turn, turn, tuck, twist, 
grips. Okay, and those are your four supersets for this workout. Like I said, it's two rounds, beginners, a little bit more advanced, four rounds for those that want to try it. Once you hit the twist after the four rounds, you want to do one minute rest before going through the next round, in between each round, okay? Time is 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, or 45 seconds on, 15 second rest. Like I said, one minute rest in between each round. Hopefully you guys get on with that. Um, if you're finding any issues, obviously let me know uh, where you're finding them and we'll try and correct them if we need to. But for now, I've been...